Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make a fingerprint door lock system. And I will also install it in my home. I will also fix a major problem that we face in sliding doors. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. To design our circuit, we will use a single dotted PCB. To place the microcontroller, we will use these female headers. Cut them according to the size of your microcontroller. Now place them on the PCB accordingly. Carefully solder each pin, make sure not to join them. The microcontroller that we will be using is Arduino Nano because of its small size. Place it on PCB. We will use a single channel relay module to turn the lock on. Place it on PCB. We will also use a voltage regulator LM7805 along with a heatsink. Attach the voltage regulator to the heatsink and then place it on PCB. We will use a male and a female connector. Place it on PCB and solder it according to this diagram. Now place some male headers on the PCB. Now this is our complete circuit, I will provide a link for this diagram in description below. This male header is for fingerprint sensor. We will use R503 capacitive fingerprint type sensor. It is a complete weather resistance and waterproof fingerprint sensor. So we don't need to worry in any weather condition. We will attach it on the male header. Now it's time to program it. Connect the USB cable to the Arduino. We have two different codes, the enroll one and the use one. First we have to enroll our fingerprint. For that we will use the enroll code. I will provide a link for this code in description below. Now this is our complete code. Select your board as Arduino Nano and make sure to select the right port. After this just click on upload button and wait for code to be uploaded. Now open your serial monitor. If you have perfectly wired your fingerprint sensor, you will see here written found fingerprint sensor. Here you can see that IDs are from 1 to 127. This means that you can store 127 fingerprints. So on serial right, you can type any number from 1 to 127. Just type and hit enter button. Now place your finger on fingerprint sensor. Then remove for a while and then place it again. You can see that you have successfully enrolled your fingerprint. Similarly, you can enroll 127 fingerprints. After this, close the serial monitor and open the next code. Check the board and COM port and just click on upload button. After the uploading is done, remove the USB cable. Now we will make a battery pack. For that, we will use 3 pieces of 18650 cells, a 3S cell holder and a 3S BMS battery management system. Place the BMS module on battery holder and wire according to this diagram. I will use this 12 volt bulb just for testing purpose. Connect the battery to the main circuit. Now place your enrolled fingerprint and check if it's working. You can see that it is perfectly working. Pink light indicate authorized fingerprint and red for non authorized fingerprint. Now in the next step, we will place this fingerprint sensor on door.
Now I will explain you the problem that I was facing while placing this sensor. This is the small door that has an electric lock. I want to open this small door with fingerprint. At the same time, this is also a large sliding door. You can see that here is our fingerprint sensor and here is our complete lock. There is a big gap from sensor to door lock. This large sliding door is for entering the car. So we cannot use a direct wire. So what I have done is I have used these micro switches. I have attached a wire on its metallic plate. This is what I have made using two limit switches. The positive and negative terminal from the main circuit are attached to these limit switches. And the positive and negative terminal from the door lock are attached to these two metallic plates. Now it can easily open and close. This is our electric lock. You can see that the wire is going to the metallic plates. And from there it is connected to these switches. Now you can see that the door perfectly open and close. So that's it.